Hello and good evening. I'm Steve Eager. First on Fox 4 News at 5.30 tonight, Dallas County District Attorney Susan Hawk told Dallas's D Magazine that she was suicidal and wanted to resign just months after she was elected. The magazine published its story online yesterday. Today, Fox 4's James Rose sat down with the magazine's editor. James, the article is long and very detailed. It is. Editor Tim Rogers says Hawk did two interviews, one while she was still in treatment and a marathon emotional interview when she got out of a Houston psychiatric clinic. Some people think it's a hit piece. Some people think we were too nice to her. Uh, my read on it is that we, we did our job. D Magazine editor Tim Rogers says reporter Jamie Thompson first met with Dallas County District Attorney Susan Hawk in Dallas in mid-September while still in treatment for a major depressive disorder. And she and Jamie met for a few hours and they talked a lot about her life and what had happened up to the point where, where she went to treatment. And then the agreement was she didn't want to talk about treatment until treatment was over. Rogers says the only other agreement was Hawk would not talk about any of the recent high-ranking DA firings or resignations. By September 25th, Hawk's treatment was over, and as promised, she talked for 10 emotion-filled hours. There were some tears. You know, it was, it was parts of it were very emotional on both ends. I mean, Jamie, I can remember, called me after that long last interview, and, and she just was exhausted. The veteran editor is still surprised by Hawk's candor. In the article, Hawk says she considered strangling herself at the treatment facility with a blow dryer cord and openly talked about suicide. You know, the scene where Susan is in that treatment facility in Houston and when she tells her nurses that she wants to be let go so she can kill herself, I mean, it's just gripping. It's really gripping. Hawk disputes one crucial part of the story, that after her threats to harm herself, she was officially committed. And so she's saying that she was always there voluntarily. I guess that's true because she never tried to leave, but the doors were locked and she would not have been allowed to leave. To me, that, that, that seems very involuntary. Rogers stands by his reporter's story. Susan says that we got something factually wrong in the story and we didn't. I understand why she's saying that. She's under a lot of pressure, and so that's the one leverage point that she's trying to use. After all, Rogers says, it was Hawk who wanted to talk. Well, Susan has said the reason that she told her story is because she wants to help other people who might be dealing with the same issues. And so I'll take that at face value. I mean, that's a good reason to tell your story. Now, Rogers says the magazine wasn't planning to publish the story until later this month, but decided to post it online Sunday because Hawk publicly promised to interview with other reporters this week. I contacted Hawk's office for a response to the article. I was told someone would get back with me, but that has not yet happened. Steve. Okay, James Rose in our Dallas newsroom, thanks.